Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part 9 of the supply ship build. In today's video, we're going to be adding some anchors on the front with some magols so we can hold the ship in position a bit better, as well as some bow thrusters so we can maneuver around the docks a bit easier. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start with the anchors first. So we might butt in at the top right up here. Uh, maybe make a few blocks. Yes, take those out for a moment. And we'll put a little base to put the uh, winch on to start with. So we'll go like that. That'll be right. We probably don't need all that area over here. Oopie. <laughs> yeah, we don't need all this area, so we'll get rid of all that. Perfect. Um, now, as far as winches go, we might use the large winches. I think that's probably best. So we'll turn these around. Uh, maybe upside down as well. We could put one... Right there, is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine, that looks alright. Um, real quick, we might actually replace these again because we're not going to need all this room, I just realised. So we'll go there, that'll be fine. So we have a bit of room to play with, which is really good. Um, and we can get rid of that whole platform as well, <laughs> a bit much. And we'll fill in the sides as well, so it's watertight. Yes, and we're doing it on both sides, which is a nice change. <laughs> uh, now, next, we need to fill in this area. I'm not sure what we're going to put in there, maybe we can put some wedges in. Yes, if we go wedge, we go like this, turn these around, Oop, like that. Will that be all right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> we might just leave it like that. That's probably best, unless we actually, we could probably put a wedge in like this. That might be all right. We'll go like that. Yeah, that, that's fine. And then what are we going to put on the top of that? Could we mm, put some of these on to one by twos maybe? And go like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be fine. Uh, all right, so if we fill that in. That is a boxed-in area. That piece looks awful sticking out there. What are we going to do about that? They don't line up. Maybe we'll get rid of this. Uh, oh, dear. What are we going to do? Could we use one of these? Would that be a bit better? And uh, we'll turn that upside down. Go like that. No. Okay. What on earth are we going to do with this bit? All right. We might just go like that. That'll probably be fine. You probably won't even notice once it's all painted anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> um, anyway. So we could probably give that a quick paint now, actually. So we'll bucket tip it all yellow, all of it. Yes, under there, on the sides, the bottom and the other side. That is all of it, I think. And I think we can do that back piece there. Yep, perfect. And maybe we'll take the gray from down there and we'll make the actual wind <laughs> gray, please. Yeah, make them gray to kind of blend with the rest of the boat. That'll probably be fine. Now we need to get a pivot body, one of these. And we'll make a separate body, sorry, off the pivot. Turn that around and we'll just get a random block to stick on it for a minute. Yes, goodbye. Uh, right, now let's bring that uh, down a bit closer. Uh, so we come across to there, maybe? N no. <laughs> uh, where's that one line up? Yeah, it is on that one. All right, so let's go electrical cable anchor. Where is it? This one here. So if we put that on... Okay, we might have to go there. That's fine, because it'll swing out anyway. So we'll go rid of all of these extra pieces. Now, we need some weight blocks to make it a bit heavy, so it goes right down to the bottom every single time. And we'll go like that, and we'll get some maggles, put them on the bottom, turn these around, pop, pop, and pop, and then we'll get some little wedges, and we'll turn them upside down on each end. We could possibly go like that, I wonder if that will be all right, we'll see, get rid of this, y yeah, <laughs> that'll probably be fine actually, and then we'll go ropes and connect them all together. Very good, that's looking okay, hopefully. Um, should we paint these grey as well? We better had. Uh, make it blend in with the rest of the boat. So we'll go all of these gray. Boom, boom, boom. And the tops of those as well. And the sides. And we can't forget the back. And the bottom. Boom. Like that. And we've missed a few pieces around here. <laughs> okay, that is all of it, I think. That's fine. Alrighty, next up, we're going to put the buttons in for these. So we'll head in here. I think we might put it on the right-hand side. Should be fine. So we'll grab one of these for a second. We'll go boom, boom. Turn this around and turn that around that way. All right, so we're going to have this one anchor um, left. All right, let's copy that for a moment. And we'll go arrow button pointing up. And that will be our number one. And a toggle button. Then this will be, we'll have number three, make it go down. And then we'll put a down arrow on like that. And then this one here, number, oh, it goes on the next one, doesn't it? All right, so number one on this will be the mag. And we'll put that on a flip switch, perhaps, on number one. And then number three will be the length, winch length. Just like that. Perfect. And that will read a maximum of 100 on number three. All right, I'm going to do the exact same thing as that, but on the right-hand side. All right, perfect. They're all done. So now we've got to make the controller for these. So we're going to go anchor, uh, ship, one. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, now, I think we need five nodes 
So we go five, just made six, I think. There we go. Um, we'll make that a bit longer. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we need four outputs. Two, three, and four. All right, so this will be left one or left up. And then this will be um, right up. Okay, and then this will be left down and this will be right down. Perfect. And this will be an input composite, I think. That's all right. Yeah, that should be that should be fine. I guess let's go to the logic and we'll connect all these together. So what do we got first? We have left up and then right up and then left down and right down that in that order if we can. So now we need composites. Now it's one of these, can never find it until I've had a look. Oh yeah, perfect, first one. All right, nice. So we'll get all these going down here. All right, just like that. We'll connect all of these together. Boom, boom, boom. And all of these as well. Boop and boop. All right, perfect. Now this will be on number four. This will be number three and two. And that one is one. That is all good. So let's copy that. We'll save it as a controller. Boom. Awesome. Now let's go and get that bad boy out. Here it is. All right, sweet. So that is for the top display piece. So that is going to go in the controller room. Where have I put that? Is that this one here? Yes, it is. Awesome. So we'll flip that on the wall. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now let's... Um, actually, you know what we'll do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it right up here for a minute. <laughs> so then we can connect all the controllers together, all the logic together, and then we'll go drag it over there. Might be best. All right, so let's see what we got going this way. So left up, uh, up, and we have left down. Yes, and then we have right up and right down. Perfect, okay, and then that will go all the way up here into this one. All right, that is finished. That is very good. Now we've got to make the next one. So now we have mag, mag, and length on each one. So we're going to need six um, pieces for this one. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's make that a bit longer. Let's we'll spread all these out a bit better. All right, perfect. So now we have an input for composite and an output for composite. Very good. So now we have uh, mag left. Whoopsie. Okay, we're doing two A's apparently. Mag right, and then length left, and then we have length right. Perfect. And these are numbers, yes. And these are outputs also, I think. No, these are inputs. What am I doing? <laughs> these are outputs. That's better. Boom, boom. Okay, that should all be good. This is this confuses me, man. It hurts my head, <laughs> but uh, we'll work it out. Uh, so these ones are going to go up with these ones. That one go down there. All right, so let's see what we got. Composite. So that will go up there, and this one will go right there. But we'll move this out of the way. Give ourselves a bit of room. We'll just go like that, and boom, and boom. All right, now we need, is it this one? Yes, we'll move that down, and we need one more of those. I think down here. So we'll connect all these together. Boom, boom. That one goes up to there, that goes to there. So now we have magnet on one and magnet right on number two. And then left is number three and this is number four. Perfect, very good. All right, let's get rid of that and that will be number two. So we'll copy that one as well. Save it all and let's grab it out of the menu here. Number two, perfect. So we'll put that one just there for a moment. All right, what do we got? Um, so that one will go to there. That one will go to there. Now we need to get all the details sorted out for this one. So how our magnet left, so this will go to there, I believe, I hope, <laughs> and this will go to there, perfect. And then we have length is there, and length is there. All right, now this, <laughs> I always seem to struggle with this one for some reason, but anyway, boom, and then that will go like that. I believe that's right. Hopefully, if it doesn't work, I guess we'll know what to fix. <laughs> That goes to there, and that goes to there. Perfect. All right, that should all be hooked up and ready, actually. Pretty sure. There all the composites hooked up. All right, perfect. Now, let's move down to... Actually, not what we'll do first. We'll go put these away before we forget. Um, we better grab them. Boom, and boom. We'll move and cut these, and we'll take them all the way back down into that controller room. All right, there they are sitting in there. Perfect. We're starting to build up the controllers in here. We're starting to get a few, which is nice. Good to see. I want to get this thing running ASAP. That would be very cool. All right, so that is all working. We might quickly paint those controls. So we'll just focus on these. Whoa, red for all of that. Uh, maybe we could make the little buttons. Make these little orange ones, I reckon, like that. Okay, so that's all the anchor bits and pieces there, which is really cool. All right, very nice. Um, okay, let's uh, move on to the bow thrusters. We need to go all the way down here now. Uh, we'll go back to white blocks for a moment now. 
We're going to go on both sides now. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do this. Um, so let's just go for it. <laughs> let's get rid of this to begin with. Let's make a bit of room for ourselves. Perfect. All right, now let's... Um, we're going to need this floor, so we might go like that. Okay, and then we're going to have the actual thrusters sitting on... That is not what I want to do. <laughs> we want the thrusters sitting on a little platform on the top. Maybe something like that. Okay, so we'll go propeller. And we're going to get use these, I think. We're going to get these. Um, so how should we do this? Turn them upside down. Should we move it back a few blocks, maybe? Is that going to be... Ah, that's not right. We'll go here. Will that work? I'm not sure if that's going to work. That should be right. And then we're going to leave a gap. And we're going to put one there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with that. No, that's too far back. So we'll go there. Okay, something something like this. I'm not really too sure. I'm going to get rid of this for a minute, actually, so I can see what I'm doing. We'll fill it in after. Uh, right, so we're going to have wall there, a wall there, and a wall there. And then it will all end off right here, which is perfect. All right, so go along there. Build these up a little bit more as well. Can we come up higher? Yes. And then we go up a little bit more. And then this is going to be another one right here. So we go to there. All right, cool. So we could probably fill this bit back in, which is good. Turn them around and can we make that work? Oh, yep. Perfect. That's that one done. Very nice. Now, I would like to try and use some rail if we can for like the little mesh kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, definitely not that one. Where is the straight? There it is. So we turn that that way. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and that fits on both sides. Awesome. Very nice. So we go boom, boom, boom. And then we go boom, boom, and boom. So that bit's going to have to go. Uh, yeah, we'll have three thrusters. I was going to have two, but I think three might be good, actually. Yeah, I originally thought I'd do two, but I think that looks pretty cool. So we'll leave it like that. Uh, we'll make the walls up one more block as well. Just to make sure everything's waterproof. We'll get some wedges. Now, we're going to make these kind of go like that. Okay, so it kind of drops down in the middle there. So it just makes the water go through one spot. I think that's what we want to do. <laughs> I'm not really too sure. Uh, anyway, let's get carry on. So we're going to go like that. And now I'm going to grab some inverse pyramids. We might turn them upside down, fit them in here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I make all that link together? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's turn that around. Boop and boop. Okay. That's looking pretty cool, actually. Very good. Uh, now let's get some. We'll just use wedges for the tops of these to go along there. See if we can seal this area off. Oh, what's going on here? It's a big gap. Hmm. Okay, we'll sort that one out in a second. Oh, we've got the same problem here, don't we? <laughs> uh, right. Okay, what if we just put blocks in there? Then we'll put wedges on that bit there. Perfect. All right, next what we'll do is we better put some pipes in, shouldn't we? Um, we're not going to have wedges on that front bit, are we? No. Okay, what if we just use the one-by-ones on that bit? Because we're going to need room for the pipe to come up to connect the motor to them. So we go like this and turn that around as well like that. So that still works. It's just a bit different, but that's okay. Um, so we'll go pipes. We'll get some straight pipes, and we'll connect these up to here. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, this way. Perfect. <laughs> boom, boom, and boom. Okay, very good. So we'll fill all this in. So that is all watertight now after this one. Perfect. Very good. No water can get in, I don't think. I guess we'll find out, won't we? That is looking actually really cool. I like it. Uh, let's give it all a quick paint. Um, so we'll just go the same colors as everything else. Bit of gray. All of it, please. And we better do the floor as well. That's going to do the whole boat, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. No, I just did that bit. Oh, cool. Very nice. Uh, we'll do those bits and those bits. And I'm not doing it on both sides either. Ah! All right. I think that's looking very cool. Look at that. I painted them yellow. We have some gray. I thought it looks awesome. I really like it. It looks sort of realistic, <laughs> I suppose. That's all right. Uh, so let's go down in here. We need to put some gearboxes and whatnot on. So we'll go... Uh, we'll start with some pipes first. Let's grab some of these. Let's go in white. Doesn't really matter. Um, go like that, that, and that. Perfect. And we'll get some gearboxes out. Boop. And now, should we connect all of them together and just have one big motor? Maybe we might do that, actually. That might be better. Um, okay. So that's changed my mind a little bit. So we'll go like this. Uh, boop. Change my mind. Change my plans a little bit. Um, we'll put a T-piece in here. And boop, so that is the middle of the boat. That's really good, actually. So we can have the motor right in the middle. So we'll come all the way up to here. Maybe we can put a gearbox on there. And, yep, and turn that that way. No, we had it right the first time. Now we'll get a motor out. We might just use a medium motor. That should be fine. Turn that upside down. That can sit down there, down low. And then we'll have some pipes come up to here. Get rid of that one. And we need one more here. 
Perfect, uh, pipe, get one of these and turn it around into there. Awesome, that might even work <laughs> with a bit of luck. Um, yeah, awesome, I really like it. Alrighty guys, so to hook the motor up, I was gonna make like a little um, switch box thing, but I think we're just gonna hook it up to the left and right on the driver's seat, think might be best. So we head all the way up to the driver's seat, the helm. <laughs> um, so we go left and right, which is that one there. So we're going to here, left and right is on reset. And we'll turn that up to maybe 50%. Um, bow thrusters. Bow. Bow. Very good. All right, cool. Very nice. Okay, so that's all finished. We could probably go and give this thing a test, actually. We might turn this gearbox up a little bit more. Maybe if we go 2-1. That should be nice and powerful, hopefully. All right, so we might turn on Infinity Electricity and we'll give it a shot. All righty, guys. Here we are. Let's jump in the seat. All right. Uh, is Infinity Electricity on? Infinity Electric. Yep. We'll turn that on as well. Uh, all right, so let's go. Oh, no, we're not hitting on the bottom. So we'll go left. Oh, yep, it works. <laughs> oh, yes, it definitely works. Very nice. That's very powerful. Look at that. Ready? We'll go right, smashing the dock that way. And then we go back left and we'll hit the dock really hard. Oh, it's going to pull the whole ship over. Boom. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Okay, it definitely works, which is nice. We might turn the sensitivity down a little. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, cool. We might turn the sensitivity down a bit. We don't need it to be that sensitive, but that's alright. Um, I can't actually move just at the moment. We haven't got that hooked up. But we could probably test these winches. How do I turn the light on in here? I have no torch. Hello? Interior lights. They don't work. Oh no, we don't have light. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to have to make do. Alright, down. Uh, down. Hello? Okay. That one works. That's nice. I can't see a thing, man. Okay, that one works at least. And then the magnets. I can't see. Magnet on? Are they on? Yeah, okay. That one works. Oh, very good. We'll let that hit the bottom. Uh, and then we'll fix up the other side. Listening. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's pull it back up and see what happens. Are they strong enough to actually hold the boat? Oh, yeah, it's pulling us over. Yep. Okay. That is very strong. Awesome. I was hoping that three magnets would be enough, and it looks like they might be. Oh, that being said, it looks like it's just stopped, actually. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Is the winch, like, maxed out or something? Yeah, it thinks it's all the way in. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll go back down. All right, perfect. All right, let's see if we can fix up those controls real quick. Uh, so what's going on in here? Where are we in the dash? Boop. All right, so we have one, two. So three wasn't working. Oh, it's got to be number three. That's probably why. Are they all meant to be push buttons? Nah, they're meant to be toggle buttons. All right, that's better. All right, that should all work now. Um, the other thing I want to do while I remember, actually, is these light switches I put in, I made them push buttons instead of toggle buttons, so we need to do that, fix these up real quick. So we'll get a toggle button, and we'll shove that in the side here. I think there's another one upstairs as well, so we'll go and have a look at that. Paint it all blue and yellow. Very nice. And then that toggle button will head over to here as an external input, and that will be the lights. All right, perfect. Um, we'll select that, we'll copy it, and we'll put it up for the next one as well. So I think there's one up here, yeah. This one right there. We'll get rid of this one, and we'll put a toggle button in. Very good, so that's the toggle button, yes. And we'll put that over there to external inputs. And then we'll go like this, boop. Perfect, and we'll paint that the correct color as well. Very nice. And lastly, what we'll do, we might change this gearbox around because it is too powerful. <laughs> what if we go down to... Uh, oh, six fire, oh, we could go three, two, and we'll turn the sensitivity down a little bit as well, so it's not so sensitive. <laughs> uh, what if we go back down to 10% how it was? Yep, something like that. All right, let's save all that, and I might spawn it in, in a mission out in the water a bit further. That might be a better idea, wouldn't it? So let's do that quickly. Editor, uh, creative base, let's grab the actual boat, uh, this one here, and where can we put that? We should put it out here. That'll be fine. All right, let's go and test that location. Hopefully it all works all good. I think I went out this side. Yep, there it is. All right, let's fly out there. Whoop, hello, and boop. Very good. All right, let's uh, test the bow thrusters first. So we'll go left. Whee! <laughs> Still wants to pull the boat over. Oh, dear. They must be pretty powerful. Jeez. Oh, it's starting to straighten out a little bit. And if I go back the other way, it's definitely going to flick it over. Whee! Yep. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're going to be real careful of that. Uh, yeah, right. Well, they work though, at least. All right, let's uh, stop that right here. 
Uh, let's test both anchors now. I can't, I can't see a thing, man. Uh, anchor down. Yes, it works. Perfect, so that's going down. Yep, there it is, very nice. Let's turn the magnet on for that one as well. There. Oh, yep, the magnet works. Let's click together. <laughs> All right, let's um, come back up. And that one works as well. We'll just double check to make sure it still works. Yes, here it goes. That should start bringing the boat down as well. Uh, yeah, here it goes. Probably pull this over. <laughs> for a bit of luck. Uh, we'll just let the other one do it at once. I don't really care. Uh, yep, yeah, it's very strong. That is great. That's really good. Look at it pulling the whole back of the boat out of the water. <laughs> awesome. Uh, can we turn that off, please? That one off. And what if we release that? Oh, something break? Something broke. <laughs> what was that? Where'd our anchor go? It fell, oh, it came up and broke something. It fell off. <laughs> that doesn't matter, it works. Dear me, we've got to be careful of that. Um, but that'll do us for today, guys. Um, sorry, it's a bit of a shorter episode. I'm a bit low on time, but I wanted to make a video anyway. But um, that'll do us for today. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.